Hello and good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Gail Borden TV. I'm your host, Dominique, and today we're going to meet our three Facebook Live stars, Elda, Katie, and Grizel. But before we do, I'd like to take this time to sincerely thank all of you in our community. Because from the beginning, starting March 16th, during the stay at home order, your support helped our virtual programming gain 312,000 views. And for that, we completely thank you for that. All right, so what I'd like to do is show you all a video of our three Facebook Live stars and what they look like without masks. Because here at Gail Borden Public Library, we are following the governor's mask mandate. Here we go. Good morning, everybody. It's Miss Katie, and you're at your library at home with Gail Borden Library. Hi, Delani. Delani, happy birthday. Should we sing happy birthday to Delani? Let's sing from home to Delani. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Welcome to your library at home. I'm Elda. I'm gonna spend the night with you again making some crafts. It's actually what they look like. Once again, coffee filter flowers. Really, really fun. Buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Grisel y yo trabajo en la biblioteca pública Gilbert. Pick a me. Pick a me. Pick a me. And the baby was giggling and the baby was so happy. The baby st stopped crying. Hi, everybody. I'm Elda. Thanks for watching. And I'd like to um, follow up a little bit for a second with Dominique said, I really appreciate all of your support through all of pandemic. Um, it's wonderful how many people of you have tuned in. So i um, tell you a little bit about myself. I am actually the manager of exhibits and displays here at the library. Um, and during pandemic, I kind of just jumped in to try to help out with programming as best I can. And um, it's been a lot of fun. I've been able to do a lot of projects and crafts and recipes that I have been wanting to do for years. So for that, I again, thank you for watching because without all of you, I wouldn't be able to do these fun things. So I hope you are all enjoying it as much as I am. Wonderful, thank you, Elda. And Katie, can we get to know a little bit about you? Yeah, so I'm Katie. Um, my title is the Manager of Early Literacy Services. And that just means that I specialize in kids zero to six. So planning story times in all three of our branches and of course, virtually. Um, and I wanted to echo what you all said. It's been great um, being able to do story times, and even though it's hard that we can't be here in person at the library or we haven't been able to, it's been wonderful to get to know you. And I love giving shout outs to the kids every time that we have story time. And I love that you've gotten to know Fred the Goat, my friend. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Great, thank you so much, Katie. And we have Grizel, who is um, part of our bilingual programming virtually. And Grizel, can we get to know you a little bit? Hi, my name is Grizel, and I work in the Kids Space uh, Department. And I'm part of the Kids Space team that uh, does virtual programming. And um, I just want to thank everyone for watching us. Wonderful, thank you so much, Grizel. So let's start off with a couple of questions here. Elda, can you tell us what do you do when you're not working here? Well, my the first thing, my most important thing that I do is I spend as much time as I can with all of my almost grown children. Um, being a mom outside of work is probably none, my number one priority. Um, some days I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I come home and I do nothing because my, my job sometimes gets physical here. And then the rest of my time, I like to spend um, doing projects and crafts and art and um, being outside. Perfect, perfect. Katie, what do you do after work? I love lots of different things. Um, I love writing. So that's one of my favorite things to do. Um, and I have two puppies. So I just love either going to the dog park or the woods. 
or walking them outside and playing. Awesome. Yeah. Giselle, what do you do after work? Tell us. After work, um, well, I also have children, so I spend most of my time with my children. I'm also taking classes, so if I'm not spending time with my kids, I'm doing homework. So that's oh, what I do. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's, that's great. That's awesome. All of you, that was awesome. That's pretty great. All right, and then, Katie, what inspires you to follow this career path here at the library? That's a great question. Um, so when I was little, I always loved reading books. That's one thing that we, as a family, always did. We went to the library and got books, so that's the first thing. And then I took theater classes in school, and I loved it. I loved being characters on the stage and, um, you know, have, dressing up in costumes. So I knew that being able to do story times was an absolutely passion of mine, so I kind of went in the direction of being a children's librarian. Awesome, awesome. And that, that explains watching your videos and seeing you um, when you do these, uh, like the ballet one. Oh, yeah. You know, that was really great to see another side of you other than just the stories that you that you tell us. So that was a great connection. Oh, so thanks. we would never yeah. thought that now, that now that we know. All right. All right. right. Um, Griselle. So can you tell us what inspired you down this career path? No, actually, I started work, my first job was here at the library. Okay. So I, I've been here for over 20 years, and I think just being here and yeah, it's what motivated. So After working in different departments, um, and I got the experience, and I thought, hey, well, why not? Why not stay here? Awesome. <laughs> the the library is a great place to work, right. and um, yeah. So when you were a kid, did you ever say, I, I want to be a librarian? Or was there another career path that you thought about when you were a little kid and something that inspired you? Mm, I, when I was younger, I wanted to be a teacher. And I actually, after high school, I went and I got my degree in graphic design. But I was working at the library, and I was already working in the children's department. Okay. So I thought, I want to stay here. Yeah. This is where I want to yeah. be. So you found where you where you belong. Yes. Okay, that's great, that's great. And Elda, how about you? Well, um, I spent most of my education taking as many art classes as I possibly could to then stay home and um, spend time with my children. And then I went back to work teaching art. Um, but what I found out is when my kids were at school, I used to do a lot of the banquets, which was building a lot of big props. I did children's theater of Elgin props. And um, I actually used to work at the cafe here, and I used to watch the previous manager of exhibits doing all of these great big huge things that she would build, all these props, things. Um, it was actually during dinosaurs, and we had this great exhibit, and I just was so inspired by these great big larger-than-life creations that she would make and what, how it transformed our library. So I was fortunate enough to step into to that role, and. Um, I've not turned back since then. It's been, it's a, I have a really fun job here, so I'm lucky. Awesome. And so, Katie, this is a crazy question. Okay. okay. Because during pandemic, so let's just say, in an, if it's not a pandemic, the pandemic is over, where would you visit in the world? What would be your favorite dream place to visit? That's a great question. <laughs> um, so I've never been to Italy, and I've always been very interested for a number of reasons. I love art and um, culture and all kinds of things like that, and another thing is food. Yes. I'd love to try okay. real Italian pizza with cheese <laughs> that like drips off of it, <laughs> yes. and pasta, mm -hmm. and bread, and chocolate. Yes, yeah. that sounds already good. Hungry. It's almost lunchtime, but that sounds yeah. really, really good. Um, and Elda, what would be your dream place? Well, I, honestly, I would like to say the same thing that Katie says, <laughs> but I'm going to have to go with Greece, only because I have planned for many years with one of my girlfriends to go to Greece, and pandemic ruined that. So I'm, I'm going to have to just say i got to bump Greece before Italy. <laughs> <laughs> they both sound phenomenal places. And what would be your dream place, Griselle? What, you, what are you thinking? Well, if I had a choice and I could go right now, uh -huh. I would go... I would like to travel all of Mexico and visit all the little beaches. Yes. I'd like to be at the beach, so yes, visit yes. the beaches and maybe visit some fam since I'm down there, then maybe visit some family, but anywhere where there's sand and sun. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> For me, I would love to visit Paris. 
and I've been doing a little genealogy, I've learned that that's where most of my background is from on my mother's side. So um, just to have that opportunity to meet relatives in Paris and enjoy chocolates and wonderful food and bread. I love bread, so that <laughs> will be my go-to. So I just, um, so that will be my dream, my dream place to go to. And um, so, Katie, uh -huh. what are you most proud of? Oh, I would say there's a couple things. The first of all is you moms know. I'm not a mom, but I'm a doggy mom. <laughs> and so I'm very proud of my golden retriever Opal. She's a sweetheart. Um, and then all of the kids, like the kids that I work with here at Gailborn Library, I think I'm really proud to be a staff member here. And to s I've been f here five years now. And so like the little babies when I first started here are now five. So it's been great to see. I'm really proud of like the growth that they've done mm -hmm. to see them at all the story times. And now they're becoming readers. So I'm really proud of them. Oh, that's great. And what are you most proud of? Um, okay. I'm going to keep it to two. Um, I am obviously most proud of my children, but what I'm most proud about them is all of the years I spent many years teaching art. Some of my children were my own students, and now I have these children that are growing up to be not only really great adults, but they're also pretty artistic. So that's, that's a proud moment for me. Um, professionally, though, it makes me very, very, very proud to do the exhibits, the displays, the things that we do here in the community, and then when I hear other people in the community, because this is my library, I live very close to, so it makes me really proud when I hear a side conversation somewhere outside of work, and people are like, oh my gosh, did you see this at the library? So awesome. that makes me That's very proud. Awesome. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit here. So I wanna ask you, Grizel, a different question. So what was your most favorite book when you were a child and when you were a teen. Was there anything that kind of pops in your mind? You know, when I was, I can't remember when I was very, very young, but mm -hmm. middle school, mm -hmm. um, uh, believe it or not, um, Garfield books. Yes, okay. I was a reluctant reader, so Garfield books. Garfield yeah. I loved, I read the book Matilda by Roald Dahl like at least 15 times. I loved it because Matilda was spunky and even though she, you know, got into crazy situations, she used her mind and she used magic um, to get through her life and love her life. So I, I loved that book. Um, well, when I was little, my favorite book was, well, I had two, Pippi Longstocking and Charlotte's Web. <laughs> pretty pretty right. basic, but both adventurous. And um, in high school, I kind of didn't read nearly as much. I steered towards my favorite books. All were big books with pictures of art in them. So That's true. That's very true. I'm going to date myself a little bit. My favorite was The Babysitter's Club. Oh, I loved those. I was, when we had um, Scholastic books, uh, the little bookstore thing going at the library, I was so ecstatic about it. I was like the first person there, and I, and then when the TV show came out. I am HBO. That was like the most greatest <laughs> thing ever because I was able to relate to all of those characters because I felt like every personality fit, it fit mm -hmm. my personality. So yeah. There was just something about them. And I tried to create my own babysitter's club. That didn't, that didn't <laughs> last very long. <laughs> Were you a babysitter? <laughs> I mean, if you read those books, you must have been babysitting I quite a bit, right? My brother, that was as far as it went, but I was making flyers and all kind of things, but there was too much competition at that time mm -hmm. because everybody wanted to do the babysitter's club. But that was my favorite book. You know, they're graphic novels now. I know, and yeah. my youngest, my baby, who's not a baby, but she's a baby, she loves the graphic novels, and it inspired her to really like get into her graphic novel um, design, so she does cool. her own. Cool. And she, um, she's a, a phenomenal artist, phenomenal. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna speak about the virtual programming that you all do. So I just wanted to know, and we can, let me see, who can I pick here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your favorite part about virtual programs? Um, I think for me, my favorite part is um, engaging with the, the people that are at home watching. Like it's, and sometimes it's kind of challenging because a lot of times I will turn my camera down, 
But it, it really, for me, it's so exciting. I just had somebody the other day that um, commented from a library in Michigan. You know, two weeks or three weeks ago, I had somebody from Los Angeles, like, I'm checking in from LA. So to me, the engagement with the customers, um, that is really my favorite part. And then actually, sometimes when I actually can pull off the project, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Sometimes I'm like, can I really do this on camera? I like where you're going with that. I like where you're going with that. And then Katie, what's your favorite part about? That's it's very same. similar to Elda. I really love over and over the same kids that come and visit um, and saying hi and giving shout outs to them. Also, um, reading new books. A lot of times like a new picture book comes in and uh, I get to share the very first reading with kids virtually. Awesome. That's exciting. And yeah. Just going back with Elda about how things, you, we all, when we're doing these Facebook Lives, want it to be just perfect. You know, just um, everything goes just right. But there's times where it doesn't go right. So we're going to show you guys a few clips of our Facebook Live stars where things just isn't uh -oh. perfect. So uh, things kind of know. go a different direction. So let's go ahead and roll that. Okay. Because I just, I just lost my roof on the, the right side. So do not move this after you build it. Keep it on the actual plate you do it on. I just squished my pretty wreath too, but that's okay. I've got a lot of cream cheese in here, and this is the thing you guys you can learn from my mistakes. So do not move your house after you build one side of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four. And oh my gosh, why can't I remember the name of the kid? Five, six, seven, eight. Woo! Thank you so much for the. Thank you so much for. They'll edit this out. Thank you so much for. What should I say? Thank you so much for joining with me today. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was so fun to learn about dance with you and hopefully we got some dance with you. Bye. Hoy vamos a escuchar unas historias y vamos a recorrer el cuarto de los, del niño. Oh my gosh. <laughs> del cuarto. Ahora ya estamos en la parte de atrás de la biblioteca. Del, sorry. <laughs> burbujitas, burbujitas, burbujitas. <laughs> Our bubbles aren't working. <laughs> Vamos a repetirlo una vez más. <laughs> Listas? <laughs> We're having so much fun. Okay. Tenía una tortuguita. Se llamaba Pilar. <laughs> The fun of live story time. <laughs> Vamos a repetirlo una vez más. We're going to try this one more time. Sorry. <coughs> Look at all the bubbles. Okay, so just so all of our viewers know, to connect with um, our library, definitely visit our website. Um, keep continuing to watch us through Facebook. Um, or you can actually come and pay us a visit. So I'd like to absolutely thank all of you for tuning in, watching us, and taking that time and opportunity. And I would love to thank our three guests that are here. So um, if it wasn't for you and it, in our community for engagement and keeping us connected, we wouldn't have that without you guys and we wouldn't have that without our community. So I'd like to thank you all for joining us and everyone have a wonderful day and take care. Bye everybody. Thank you. Bye.